Wildcats mission log. Entry number 44.3. The Temple of Temescria has buried itself beyond Hellspont's reach. At the moment, the Wildcats are on guard. But there are starting to be distractions. How long before the lovebirds give in? Two days. Ten bucks says one. You're on. The temple buried itself deep. We're looking at nearly a quarter mile of solid stone. Straight down. Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned, it can stay there. If we can't reach it, neither can Hellspont. He will not stop trying, however. And we can't stay here forever. Don't sweat it. Now that Halo Industries owns the island, we can load up the defenses. Which reminds me. Give me Archer. Jacob, my most despised business competitor. How unpleasant to hear from you. I do hope you're calling with good news. Your bankruptcy, perhaps. <laughs> Listen, Archer. I got an emergency going here. I need two of your salvo cannons and a dozen Stinger threes right away. Really? Well, Jacob, since it's you, I can let you have them for, say, 60 million. What? That's three times the going rate. <laughs> Four. But it's your emergency, Jacob. Take it or leave it. One of these days, a guy's going to push me too far. Void! Where's Hellspawn now? Can you get a reading on the behemoth? Yes. It is submerged 40 miles offshore. And Jacob, he is scanning this area now. Blast! Marlow has wasted no time in establishing his defenses. They are just conventional forces. The Troika will defeat them. But not with sufficient speed. The wild cats would be alerted. They will teleport in to stop the Troika's attack. So, we wait for an opening. No! Each passing moment brings the wild cats' computer expert Warblade closer to a solution for the Code of Threes. With it, they can open the force field and obtain the orb. I will not let this happen. You have a plan, Lord Hellspont? I do. A plan which will eliminate the wild cats as an obstacle forever! <laughs> They're here to see the president. Wildcat alert, Wildcat alert. Daemonite activity detected at the White House. What? Sounds like old propane puss is after the top dog again. Not if we can help it. Claws out, cats. We're going in hard. are causing trouble again. Those men, they were enemy agents. Huh? Yeah, sure they are. 
I'm telling you, bro, they were Damonite agents. And I believe you. But you were darn stupid to pull a stunt like that on national TV. Now the whole country thinks you were attacking the president. And I can't put a hush on this one. Well, what were those drones doing there? It was a publicity bite. They were donating a fortune to the president's favorite charity. Oh man, we've been set up. Perhaps if someone had not overreacted in a crisis... Hey, that agent had you in his sights, sister. I am capable of looking out for myself. Yeah? Well, excuse me for living. Hey, hey, hey! It's too late, it happened. Now you have to stand trial. Yeah? Well, how about we just cut out of here? No, Warblade. We cannot afford to fight the government and the Daemonites by becoming outlaws. We must play along for now. Hellspawn's up to something. Sooner or later, he'll tip his hand. And when he does, I promise you the Wildcats will pounce. Success, Lord Hellspont. We have accessed the nuclear disarmament facility. Excellent. There they are. The last two nuclear missiles on Earth. With one, I shall blast my way down to the very temple and destroy the force field which protects the orb. But first... With the other, I shall destroy the wild cats. <laughs> Face it, Voodoo. There isn't a prison around with a prayer of holding you guys. So we're using the strongest security vault ever built. Fort Knox. Whoa, Mama. I used to dream about busting in here. <clears throat> Before I went straight, of course. <laughs> uh, Zealot. What? Hellspawn stole a pair of missiles? That flame-headed freak! He's gonna try to blast out the temple! That is likely. But at the moment, the Daemonites are headed for Fort Knox. After the cats? What about the government? They do not have my tracking ability. They cannot find the trucks. Just as well. If the feds try to take on Cinder Skull's crew, a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Nah. This one we're gonna handle ourselves. And I think I know just how to do it. Call an emergency board meeting. Now. <laughs> Vengeance. Our agent reports that the Wildcats have been taken to Fort Knox. Alert me when you have arrived within missile range. Without fail, Lord Hellspont. And instruct our agent to ensure the Wildcats do not escape. I have waited a long time for this moment. Just remember, keep an eye on them. I think they'll cooperate, but if they don't, hit them with a jolt from this. It sends an electrical charge through the walls and floor of the vault. Should knock them all cold. Even the cyborg, got it? Good man. gonna put up with this 15 minutes and I'm already stir crazy what the, what's that clown doing <gasps> that's no clown he's Damonite let's roar cats <laughs> 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 Take them! Go it up! What the? 
hold him and try not to mess up this time. Time to call Marlo. What's this emergency meeting all about? Don't know. But if I know Marlo, it's gotta be big. No! You gotta stay there. Sir, the Daemonites have a nuclear missile. I'll handle the bug faces. And what's more, I'll clear the charges against you. But I need you to stay put. Understand? If you attack them now, you could set off a nuclear disaster. All right. We will follow orders. For now. Spartan out. Marlo's gonna take on Hellspot's crew? No way. He is no warrior. He is a mere human. Hey, don't diss the race. And let me tell you guys something. If the fire plug says he'll handle it, he'll handle it. Don't you worry. Ladies and gentlemen, the country is faced with an unexpected nuclear crisis. And due to the nature of this situation, we here at Halo are the only people who can handle it. So let us do what we do best. Let's cook. Approaching the Big Sandy now, Lord Hellspunt. Once we cross that bridge, we will be almost in range of Fort Knox. <laughs> Excellent. Stace, buy that bridge. Jim, give me those demolition permits. Now, Buster. Ta heck with the Union. Get your crew rolling in one minute or you'll be out of a job. You hear me? What? They must be renovating the bridge. Accursed bureaucracies. Take the detour. Scrap metal. I need four tons. Hustle. Bob, buy out every tire store in that area. You heard me. I want all the gas in a 30-mile radius. No, I'm not kidding. Do it. No! Mike, what is happening? Now for the clincher. Let's go, people. What the? This road is now the property of Halo Industries. Please pay toll. Marlo! I should have known. This has gone far enough. Prepare the hover ships for launch. If I cannot fire the missiles, I shall deliver the warheads personally. Yeah, give me the news service. this through to the White House. Uh, hey. Brought you some food. It is slop. Take it away. Now come on, you need your strength. <clears throat> hey! It is fit only for human males and other swine. Now just hold on a minute, sister. You've been riding my case ever since we started this gig. What are you trying to do, drive me away? Perhaps I am. Oh yeah? Why? You would not understand. Try me, sister. Maybe I want to find out. Do not be absurd. Why would you care? Why? Why would I care? Because I love you, that's why! <sighs> oh, man. Sorry. Sorry, maybe you were right. Maybe I wasn't meant to be a Kota warrior. I know, feelings like that get in the way. So I guess... <sighs> I'm sorry. Guess I failed the final test. We have both failed, Grifter. I... Feel the same way too. Well, finally. Pay up, big guy. What? What did you. Ah, oh, Grifter. I fought against it for so long. Well, maybe it's time we quit fighting. Wildcat alert. Wildcat alert. Nice going, Chrome. Greetings, Wildcats. I got good news and bad news. 
The good news is, you've just received a presidential pardon. So what's the bad news? The bad news is, Hellspot's on his way there in a hover ship. And he's got a nuclear warhead with your names on it. <laughs> Hellspot's on his way! We gotta get topside, fast! Couldn't have waited 30 seconds. Oh. Lord Hellspont, the alarms are sounding at Fort Knox. The Wildcats have detected my approach, but this should slow them down. <laughs> what the? Move it, people! Oh! Heads up! Power surge, majorly! It's gotta be Hellspot! Ugh. Doors! Fuse shut! Stand back! Oh, yeah! Doors open! Let's go! Put that down! In less than one minute, the Wildcats will cease to be an obstacle. There they are! We have to crack that tin can. One pair of can openers. Coming up! Yeah! Ah! Demonite scum! Ah, Kodo Witch! Seconds, Pike. Get us out of here. Fair catch. Ah. There. <sighs> One more for the scrap heap. No time to pat our own backs, cats. Hellspawn's got a second warhead, and he's on his way to blast out that orb. They're gonna need air support, Void. Any warplanes in the area? There is one, but you will not like it. Jacob, really? Another emergency? This is getting to be a habit with you. Listen to me, Archer. This is no joke. Ah, but you are, my frantic fellow. Whatever you want, the answer is no. Goodbye. Archer? I've had enough of that guy. Bort? Sell our Archer Armament Holdings. And sell them cheap. Do it! Jacob Marlowe's unloading all his Archer stock. Archer Armament must be in trouble. Sell Archer stock! Sell it! Hurry! Archer stock is down by half! Wait for it. It's down two-thirds! Still dropping! Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Buy it! Buy it all! This is Archer One. Archer One? This is Jacob Marlow. I just acquired a controlling interest in Archer Armament. You are now working for me. Uh... And I just doubled your salary. Yes, sir. What are your orders, sir? Hello! Hurry home, Troika! And tell Hellspot the Wildcat sent ya! Never mind them. Look! Stand back and watch me work. Ah, 
she comes. No time to disarm it. Maul, listen up. Gotcha, boss. And now for the long bomb. will be mine. This I swear. My company. My plane. My job. I'll get you for this, Marlow! <laughs> Marlow!